This is awesome DIY. Today I'm gonna show you how to make DIY hair detangler. So the things you'll need are glycerin. You can take any kind of glycerin. I'm using the ones which is especially for lip care. Vitamin E capsules. You can also use vitamin E oil. You also need lavender essential oil and something to pour your mixture in and also water. You can use either spray bottle like this one, the perfume ones or you can also use the spray bottles which are bigger and thicker or any kind of lotion bottle any bottle you can use uh, but I prefer the spray bottle is the best so here I have of water and this is one tablespoon you can also use two tablespoons or just uh, if you are increasing the uh, amount you are making a lot of hair detangler, then you will need more. Then just add one teaspoon of glycerin to it. So I am now going to add one teaspoon of glycerin. Uh, just to advise just put your mixtures inside the spray bottle itself so that you can mix it up and just uh, add it to your hair and that's best and now i'm gonna take one vitamin e capsule and i'm gonna poke it at the bottom and take out all the oil from it if you are using vitamin e oil then you will need half a teaspoon of it I'm poking it with a safety pin at the bottom. Just poke it out and take all the oil inside the spray bottle. And yeah guys, you will see that vitamin E oil which is coming out of the capsule is floating at the top. Then you have to mix it really really well. And every time you use the hair detangler, you have to shake it up really well. That is really important. It's a little hard to get all the oil from the capsule. You have to squeeze it really hard. <laughs> with a capsule which is totally squeezed now you have to add your essential oil I'm using lavender essential oil here because I've read it's good for your hair you can also use tea tree oil or I guess you have to check which oil you can use because I don't know many oils you are gonna add two to six drops of your lavender essential oil to it I'm adding actually three drops just like that now you have to shake it uh, put the cap back on and then shake it up really well then I'm gonna just put the cap back on and then I'm gonna just shake it, shake, 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 shake. Okay. Now, once it's really nicely shaked or really nicely mixed, just apply it first on your hands so that you can see you don't have allergies from any of the thing or any of the ingredient in this. Now apply it on your hair. Uh, as you can see my hair are detangled already so yeah but still at first you'll see your hair is oily but the detangler soak in your hair for like a minute or so then it would be soft and shiny but not that oily <laughs> so here you can see my hair is being really shiny right now 
when they're soft too and it's detangled that's a big yes this detangler is really good for curly hair i hope you like my video if you do so please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe comment down below what you guys want me to make next and you may possibly get a shout out thank you guys bye bye